D, wait for it. Wait for it. Check out the name tag. You're in my world now, Grandma. What's up, nerds? So, Ezra, 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 what is going on? Um, <clears throat> I have thoughts about this whole situation, and I honestly, I, I don't know what to think 100%. I do know, like, I, I feel sorry for Ezra Miller, but at the same time, I'm all like, you're a grown adult. It's it's time to stop this nonsense. Um, it looks like he's been rested. <clears throat> you know, um, we're going to talk about he had some stuff in the past happen, um, and now he's been arrested. <clears throat> Um, and it says, uh, so this uh, article, uh, before I get started on all of this, I just want to say that if you like what I do here and you enjoy independent content here on YouTube, please consider subscribing to my channel. YouTube is always changing up their algorithm and small channels like mine, we always get shoved to the back of the line. So I please ask that you like, share, and subscribe, and I thank you in advance. All right, so let's get to this story. So I, I <clears throat> there was a, I saw it on Twitter uh, last night, or was it last night? Yeah, last night. And I was like, oh, I'll do a video tomorrow. Um, and, uh, you know, and here's, here he is in this video. We'll play this, uh, while we're talking and everything. And the thing is, you know, when Ezra Miller started out, I really liked Ezra Miller. I thought that he was, I thought he was, you know, I still think he's a good actor. Um, <clears throat> It's just he's and, you know, and he's very eccentric as a human being. And I get that that, you know, some people like to be, you know, I, I don't want to use the word weird, but, you know, some people like to be very eccentric and they like to, you know, let the freak flag fly and everything. And that I, I get it. But at the same time, I just go, you know, you have this job where you're in the limelight. So maybe you need to tone it down a little bit, my dude, because this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. Um, you know, and I think that, you know, the unprofessionalism, like for instance, when you, when you're at a con and every one of your co-stars is dressed, you know, in, you know, what would be considered normal clothes and you're dressed up as, you know, a character from Mario brothers. I just go, listen, I get it. You're a fan. You want to cosplay. I get that, but this is your job, my dude. And this is not the time to be playing you know that's it that's you know for your your own time your personal time when you're on stage like this this is not the time to be uh playing around i should have pulled up a picture of that but i didn't so anyways let me just uh um and we're gonna stop this video because now it's uh it's gone to something else but i so now that that uh so let's talk about so if you remember a little while ago he did this he brought he choked this woman out we'll just play it real quick did you want to fight is that you? see and now some people say that this was staged um and i don't know if that was staged because he never addressed it he never addressed it or anything like that and then recently and i did a video on this and i'll leave it in the i card section and everything but he did this video on his instagram where he called out the kkk let's we'll watch this and i'll talk about it just a tiny bit just, to, just so he did this um, Hi. This is Ezra Miller, uh, aka the Bengal Ghouls, the Mad Goose Wizard. And, the Bengal um, Ghouls, the, the Mad Goose Wizard. No one calls him that. Of the North Carolina Ku Klux Klan. Hello. First of all, how are y'all doing? Don't ask them how they're doing. <laughs> they're they're see, they're racist. You don't ask racists how they're doing. Own yeah, see, they're not going to do that. Okay. See, you just this is just a weird video. Keep doing exactly what you're doing right now, and you know what I'm talking about. And then, you know, um, we'll do it for you if that's really what you want. Okay, talk to you soon. Okay, bye. See, that's just a weird video. He put that out there, and I don't know what what was going on there. But I now, after all of this, he was arrested in Hawaii. Finally, he, you know. It came back to bite him. And I'm going to read this article. And while we read this article, I, I do want to talk about it because uh, what's going on here? Okay, so it says Ezra Miller. <clears throat> The film star best known for playing The Flash in Justice League films was arrested just after midnight Monday at a bar in Hawaii after allegedly flipping out over patrons singing karaoke, which I just go, come on, if you're in that bar and people are going to sing karaoke, then that's just how it goes. So. The 29-year-old, he's 29, was charged with disorderly conduct and harassment in connection with the late night uh, disturbance at a South Hilo 
Barr. During the course of their investigation, police determined that the man, later identified as Ezra Miller, became uh, agitated while patrons at the bar began singing karaoke, according to the Hawaii Police Department report. Now, I just have to say, uh, if, if you're in a bar and people start singing karaoke and you want to be left alone, just leave. Just leave. If you're in a bar that has karaoke, a hundred percent of the time, people are going to sing karaoke. That's just how it works. Okay. And if you're all like, oh, you're bad singers. Well, uh, bad singers and karaoke, they go together. That's just how karaoke works. If you're a good singer, you're just one of those people. You're, you're just good enough to be better than everybody at the karaoke bar, but you're not good enough to be professional. So it says Miller began yelling obscenities uh, and at one point grabbed the microphone from a 23 year old woman singing karaoke disorderly conduct offense and later lunged at a 32 year old man playing darts harassment offense. Uh, the bar owner asked Miller to calm down several times to no avail. That's also a thing. Don't ask people that are upset to calm down. They usually just get more angry. You, this is just one of those things. You got to nip it in the bud right away, right away. And you're just gonna be like, listen, you got to leave. You got to leave. After the first one, you just, you just be like, Hey, you, you need to stop or I'm going to have to ask you leave. And the second time bye. you got to go, you got to go. That's, that's how you got to handle these people. Miller who revealed to GQ in 2020 that uh, they use they, them pronouns in a pointed refusal to be gendered or identified in any category, was arrested and charged with total bail set at $500. The Fantastic Beast star provided the bail and was released, authorities said. That's another thing. You've got two movies coming out relatively close to each other. I mean, Fantastic Beasts comes out pretty soon. And then you've got the Flash movie who they've but they moved back to uh, 2023. And you're doing this. you got to calm down, which I have more thoughts on it, but I just want to finish this article. Uh, here is the, 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 the tweet. <laughs> uh, Vermont visitor arrested uh, for disorderly conduct and harassment in Hilo. Um, and then we go down here to his mugshot, which he's got that that shit eating grin. Like, don't smile in your mugshot, Ezra. Come on. In addition to appearing in a number of DC Comics Justice League movies, Miller will star as the superhero in The Flash standalone. I like how I said that weird standalone film at the set of for 2023 release. Uh, Ezra Miller as The Flash. This is the bar, apparently. Uh, yep, this is the bar in, uh, and everything. So look at this. It's just a small little bar, a little casual bar. And you, what, you're freaking out on people for singing? Okay, that's it. Uh, for singing karaoke. So I'm not sure. We'll put Ezra Miller right there. I'm not sure if Ezra has something going on in his personal life to where he, like, psychologically is not doing well. You know, um, I understand that. Maybe, maybe he's got something going on. Now, if he's somebody that can't handle his liquor and that when he gets drunk, he becomes a violent drunk, then maybe he needs to stop drinking and maybe he should get some help in that department. You know, I mean, I drink all the time. I do not get violent. I just get tired. And, uh, and, uh, so I think that, I think that when you, uh, for someone like Ezra Miller, if you can't handle your liquor and you're going to get violent with people, you just got to stop, especially if you want to keep your career going as a actor, because nobody wants I, I don't want to go see a movie with uh, someone that I know is not responsible as an adult, you know, and he's 29 years old. You're almost 30 years old. It's time. It's grown up time now. You can't be doing this stuff anymore. You can't be grabbing women by the throat ever. And you can't be, you know, and he's making these weird videos. Something's going on, I think. And it's not just uh, he's eccentric. I think something going on and he's he's obviously lashing out uh you know and he's drinking heavily and stuff i mean maybe i'm wrong about all this i don't know i just want to say that you know ezra miller as a you know as an actor he if you want to keep your job you got to stop doing this and as a human being you know if you 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 want to you know um be like healthy mentally and stuff you got to stop doing this too you know, cause it's not good. It's just, this just looks bad. It's just bad. 
you just come off as like a crazy person and nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. And this has got to be a PR nightmare for Warner Brothers. Uh, I don't know. I think this might hurt the Flash movie and Fantastic Beasts. I mean, a lot of people think Fantastic Beasts is hurt already because of all the problems that it's got. But I think that this is definitely not helping. This is definitely not helping. Um, I'm pretty sure Warner Brothers is like, yo, Ezra, you know, we, we, we took you on, on this flash movie. We were going to recast, we were going to do the whole thing. And we kept you because you put forth that, uh, script with what's his face, the, uh, the comic book writer and Miller Miller, I think Miller also, I don't remember. Don't quote me on that. And now you're, you're just, uh, you're just being, you know, a psycho, a crazy psycho. You're like lashing out at women. You're grabbing by the throat. You're threatening people. I mean, the KKK, threaten them all they want. Those are vomitous human beings. But, uh, you know, a dude playing darts, <laughs> calm it down. They're just darts. And the woman sing karaoke. Okay, maybe she sucked. Who cares? Leave her alone. She's just li- she's just trying to have fun, just like you. Um, so, yeah, and if you want to drink and drown in your sorrows or whatever, go in your hotel room and do that just because there's nobody there. So just leave everybody alone. All right. Those are my thoughts. Sorry, I kind of rambled on there towards the end. But those are my thoughts on this whole thing. I don't know what's going on, man. I really hope Ezra Miller is going to get some kind of help or do something to where he stops doing this. He really needs some g- good people and some good advice around him. All right. That's all I got for you guys. Um, tell me, what do you guys think about this whole situation? Is this weird? What do you think? Are you a fan of Ezra Miller? Or are you, do you think this hurts the movies that he's in? Fantastic Beasts and, you know, The Flash. Um, you know, go ahead and tell me what you think. Go ahead and leave all your comments in that section down below. If you like this video, go and hit that like button. You know, I won't mind. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. And we'll see you guys on my next uh, video. You guys have a good day. Bye.